<laughs> hey guys, it's Holy Chalupa here, and I'm just doing another uh, gaming video. Sort of like a tutorial and just showing off what I have at the moment. <laughs> and this is a uh, Haboon Hotel, another retro of Habu Hotel. <laughs> and this is based off of Wired Party. Oh, there's my friend uh, Tyler. Okay, so what it does is um, every time a user enters the room, so let's see, I have these conditions set, uh, user count room. So every, so these are repeating effects, they'll always repeat, but the conditions stop them from doing things sometimes. So every time a user, uh, uh, let's say, tutorial video, and you just show them how this works. So what it's doing, it's repeating. So it repeats this effect that changes the Ferny state. And these only have uh, two Ferny states. As long as no one else is changing it, it's perfectly fine. Um, it's a uh, room. Well, yeah, it's a room count. So when, okay, so basically when he came in the room, this activated, I have him in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when he entered, it noticed, okay, this room count noticed there is exactly two people in the room. That one lights up these show. So when a user is not in a room, it'll uh, keep the Ferny state. Uh, it'll keep the Ferny state at normal Ferny state. Okay, I'll tell him. Wired show that there. Oh no, 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 no. So the room counter show. Yeah, okay, the room counter showed there. Yeah, there were two people in the room. Then the repeat. Uh, trigger repeat a ferny state change keeping the light blinking the user yeah so then the user not um the user is uh user not count or yeah user doesn't count uh a condition makes the ferny stay um stay at normal state when there isn't that amount of people in the room. Oh god. So yeah. So when you leave wait no I I gotta say okay, so when I leave So watch when I uh, when I when I do this, I kick the person. Now there's two. So that's how this works. It's pretty simple. I just had um. So pretty much it's just set uh, with these five triggered effects. Yeah, so it's set with these five triggered effects. I didn't change the time on these. It's set for 0 0.5 seconds, which I mean that's kind of cool. I have 0 0.5 seconds on these. These are all uh, uh, separately set, like these uh, ones. They're set for each one, so that's the first one, and that's set for number one. That's just you know each one's set for each separate thing. User count obviously one one, and then this one would be like two two, and everything like that. And so each one's set like that, the Ferny state change. Uh, I kept it to current Ferny state, but the thing is why that uh, it's set, the current Ferny state is always for when uh, you select it beforehand. So like this one was, uh, I kept it at the current Ferny state of when, uh, of, uh, when it was turned off. And so basically, see he left. <clears throat> the reason why that didn't stay at the same Ferny state 
you know, being lit up or why it would never do that is because I did the Fernie state uh, change while it was actually off. So since this is blinking, and if I were to actually change it while it's blinking, it has a possible chance of uh, turning the effect back. Uh, it'll, it'll stay red, or not red, it'll stay lit up when the effect is actually, um, or when the state is actually changed to lit on if I actually do that, which is pretty easy. So this is like a room count thing that you can actually do. Um, if you, well, that would be kind of weird. I don't know if that would work. But so, it's it's pretty easy. What I originally wanted to do, there were a couple things I wanted to do. First, I wanted to make it so it would always light up if there wasn't, a, if, you know, there was a certain amount of people, which actually, I could probably do that. Yeah, I could I could actually do this. So, like, all of them would blink and it would, like, all always go up. So it would know, okay, if there isn't a, what I, well, here's what I originally wanted to do. I wanted to be, like, each of these are set for one. So let's say, okay, yeah, one person is in, it would stay lit up, just only lit. Like, it wouldn't flash like it is now, but then if there were, say, okay, three more people came in, it's up to four, all of these would stay lit. But then if one person leaves, you know, or two people leave, then it would go at two. These would turn off, but these would stay on, and it could go up and down. But then I noticed that wasn't working with a couple of uh, testing things because I noticed with the, with the user off, well, see, the repeating effect is how I fixed everything. The reason what I originally had done, there's nothing where I can keep it so it's always, you know, triggered. I can only keep it so it flashes. So, it, I mean, I could probably do that, but uh, the thing is, it would it would keep going on and off, you know, whatever. it would. I mean, I could actually do what I wanted to do, but it would be flashing. I wanted it on. But the reason why it didn't work with it fully on, because the, the effect that I, or the trigger that I had going was, um... Hmm. No, it was a user enters room, but then the problem was, I had it set so, okay, this is, this one would be between, let's say, uh, uh, one and six, two and six, three and six, four and six, five, six, and, you know, whatever, and then, then the problem was, okay, well, you have three people in here, and then it realizes, uh, that, okay, yeah, there are uh, three people in the room, but then I had one for because I wanted it to turn off. So I wanted to know, okay, if there's not a certain amount of people in the room, uh, it'll it'll turn the light off. But the problem is, it it uh, triggered it every time someone entered the room. So there's three people in the room. Okay, now there's four people in the room. But see, all of these, uh, all of the other ones realized that okay, yeah, there isn't one person in the room. There isn't two people in the room and whatnot so then it would actually change these to turn on because even though there weren't that many people in the room to begin with uh and now there still isn't that many but it triggers it every time someone goes in the room so it would change the fernie state and stuff like that but i, I actually now hold on i could I actually i just thought of something amazing that i could have done I didn't have to do a Fernie state change. I could have used these to revert them back to revert them back to normal, or I'd keep it at. I uh, no nah, because that wouldn't that wouldn't always stay lit. That would keep it at normal. Well, this is okay. I could do it like that and make it a solid light if I wanted to. Technically, I could. The only problem with that, which I mean, most likely this wouldn't exactly happen. I mean, that would be kind of dumb, but, uh, the only problem with that is if, okay, you have, say you have three people in the room, and obviously this is repeating, uh, this would repeat the effect not in there, so it would just, uh, keep it normal, but then, say, you know, oh, I left the room, but I came back into the room, like, I directly went, directly went out of the room, or no, I, like, I basically reloaded the room, so... Like, it literally is always thinking that, uh, uh, that there's, you know, three people. Because I didn't go into a, another room and back in. I went back into the same exact room. The problem is, I entered the room, yeah, and it's always been thinking that there's three people. So it would turn that off because I entered the room. And it would still think that there's three. And originally, I wanted, uh, after that, originally what I wanted to do was make it so, well, actually, I would, I would have done that. That's, that's exactly... Uh, what I would have done is just only using a single light going like that, but then the problem is still with the with these, it wouldn't turn on and off. 
or it would turn other ones on and off when I didn't want them to because of the conditions like, oh, well, it knows there's no people in here. But with this repeat effect, I had fixed everything in here. So that's pretty cool. So there's not much of a use for for what you do. I mean, maybe if you had a nightclub and you wanted to, and you wanted to possibly, you know, show how many people are in your nightclub, then boom, you got this thing and then people know, okay, wow, there's this many people in the nightclub, what to do? <clears throat> or whatever room you have, I mean, but you have to set each one individually, obviously. So it's like, <clears throat> a lot of wired for any, so basically for one piece that you want to, that you want blinking on and off for how many people, <clears throat> you, you, you basically need six, really because for when the person uh when there's not that many people and when there are that many people so literally for just activating these five and for both uh for both commands i had to use let's see i got 15, 15 i had to use 30 pieces yeah that's a lot but it's working and everything so if more people were to come in it would rise up and go down depending on the people i only have five so there's no argument except for if it goes above and actually because i don't have anything in there but that's pretty cool and so if I were technically not in the room uh, none of these would be flashing but I can't actually test that because I wouldn't be able to see it then <laughs> so that's basically it I mean and actually if you wanted to uh, I, I could probably add something like uh, like if I had the max people in the room you know like this well this thing would go up and it's like I mean this is obviously the easiest part of it I could say, okay, wow, there's exactly 50 people in the room, and every time it hits exactly 50 people in the room, so maybe if some people leave and it goes back up to 50, it would say, oh, we reached, I'd have a, a, a message thing going up that says, we reached 50 people or whatever, you know, like user enters room, and then it would, uh, well, see the thing, actually, there's the problem right there. Well, no, because that goes, no, because that goes for everyone. That's just a repeated uh, effect. No, but if the user enters room, then that means it goes for it. Because the user enters room, they only hear it. Now, if I had it a timed-based effect, you know, like repeating every certain amount of seconds, that means, you know, it goes for everyone. But since it's user enters room, it's only triggered by the user. I can make it say, congratulations, you filled the room, whatever, and everyone else already knows because it's all, it's all lit up. But yeah, that's my time. Holy chalupa. I'm glad my friend uh, Tyler actually got on the uh, to help. Star 64 Kawa, shout outs to him. And yeah, uh, let's see. Like, subscribe, and or like, comment, and subscribe to become a burrito today. And I'm out.